is Archive 12, and today we have a Nerd Out song from two weeks ago. I know that they just released their Deadpool vs. Wolverine song, but I was excited to check this out and I wasn't able to two weeks ago, so we're doing it now. This is their Wyatt Six song, Fireflies, featuring Mega Ran and Mix Williams. Now, I... I have really been getting into WWE after like a 12, 14 year hiatus. So like, I am super excited to see these songs. Like I reviewed a, a song, um, I wanna say that it was by the Kevin Bennett, that it was a Cody Rhodes theme song. And it was, it was brilliant, it was fantastic. Uh, and the Wyatt Six uh, recently just popped up in WWE. So like, I'm super excited to see what uh, Nerd Out's gonna do here. I could see this being very creepy. I could see this, it doesn't say rap, it says song. So I'm guessing that there's gonna be a lot of like ominous singing to this, which would fit the Wyatt Six very well, especially Uncle Howdy's version uh, rather than um, Bray Wyatt's. But I also imagine that's probably gonna ha harken back to Bray Wyatt's version. So like I, I could see them going a few different directions. Link will be in the description below if you wanna watch this without my commentary because we'll be pausing and we'll be talking about it. And without further ado, let's get started. The lights let me guide you on. Darkness could come to life. Born again, don't know where to go. Just follow the light. How did you feel when he left? Did you tell him every secret you kept? Okay, so already, first of all, that's a wild image to pause on. Okay, so already, like, um, they're already starting to reference some of the uh, the tapes that Uncle Howdy's uh, Wyatt Six have been leaving to the WWE fandom. Um, they've been teasing the Wyatt Six for a while. OK, so like they for months now, uh, WWE has been receiving cryptic messages and and like VHS tapes, like old school freaking digital media. Um, like before digital media was even a thing. They were they're doing this on purpose to to you know build the hype for this. And uh Bo Dallas, who's who is playing Uncle Howdy, um he's the brother of Bray Wyatt, obviously, the original creator of the Wyatt Six. And Uncle Howdy is like, for those who don't know, the supernatural character, kind of like like 90s Undertaker. And early 2000, uh, not early 2000s, early 2000s of American Badass, uh, like 90s Undertaker specifically, like around ju like just before corporate ministry style Undertaker and, and through the corporate or not corporate ministry, Ministry of Darkness. There it is. Um, but like Uncle Howdy is like one of those type of supernatural characters. And he's recruited some of the superstars from the roster that haven't really been given a whole lot of time to shine to basically create the new Wyatt Six. Um, and they've been hounding poor Chad Gable. Uh, he's been a bit of a dick as of uh, the most recent storylines. He's he's kind of like turned his back on some of his friends and whatnot. He's supposed to be a mentor to uh, wrestlers like Otis and Maxine Dupree. And uh, he's kind of like turned his back to the, uh, on them and they've in turn turned their back on him because you know, he kind of turned into a dick. And now he's being hunted and hounded by the Wyatt Six. Uh, in addition to that, also, you've got those VHS tapes I was talking about, which has like Bo Dallas interview or being interviewed by Uncle Howdy, which is, you know, a trip and a half. And they did a really good job with editing this stuff. Um, and so one of the things that the one of the tapes, I think the first or the second tapes asked was, uh, how did you feel when he left in reference to Bray Wyatt dying? Um, and so like that being one of the lyrics immediately after, uh, we get through, uh, Ben's opening here is such a good callback. It's such a good link to that, especially if you know what's going on with this. 
Uh, and granted, like, I'm not actually watching most of the modern stuff. I'm just catching highlights and stuff like that. I'm keeping up to date with it through news articles and through, like, shorts and clips and stuff like that. But I haven't been watching it live because I'm kind of building myself up. I want to see how the original Wyatt Six got built up. So I'm kind of going through older WWE programming and um, just building myself up to today. So, um... I know most of what's going on, but I'm probably missing some things that the highlight reels aren't showing us. Uh, but I do know, I have seen all the VHS tape clips, and that was definitely one of the questions that Uncle Howdy posed to Bo Dallas was, uh, how did you feel when he left? Or how did you feel when he died? It's a, it's a brilliant callback there. How did you feel when he left? Did you tell him every secret you kept? Before he died, did you tell him how you felt? Or did you neglect them like everybody else? How did you feel when you knew that he'd accomplish everything that he set out to do? That he would change the world as his influence grew? Did you celebrate him or did you wish it was you? Remember the moments that you played together? Dreaming that you both would be superstars? Did you think it was gonna last forever? That he wouldn't see exactly what you are? I'm sure that the way that the, the text is like changing as it's being typed out probably has some meaning. The, like, I feel like things like that are not going to be just random in here so like this is going to be something that you're going to have to watch at like 0.25 percent speed to be able to like catch these little easter eggs because i don't know maybe it is just random but something tells me it's not random something tells me that there's there's probably a hidden message every single time things get typed but i'm not sure I, i'll have to re-watch this after the the reaction and if i find anything I'll post it below in the in the comment section. Remember, you told her we would bring it at the top of the world. Make it to the main event, let the world know. Now you get to show one <coughs> more boys and girls, cause it's time to let them in. See the lights, let me guide you on. Darkness could come to life. On again. Save your soul. Cut the lights and start to smoke. You got nowhere to go. Every word we speak is worth so weight in gold. Every lyrics like an obituary. It gets engraved in stone. Tell me how to feel when your brother died. Uh, think about your greatest fears, then they come alive. Uh, if you're feeling lost, I can tell you why. I'm known to leave awake in my path and open minds. Got the world in our hands. The world is sick, sick, sick. We the only ones who really got the fix, fix, fix. Wanna take the other side? That's a risk, risk, risk. No, for never fitting in. I'll show what misfits is. Uh, you can feel my pain. You can try. I know you feel like nobody. I can see inside. You was full of pride once. Come for the ride. Need you to let me in. Follow the fireflies. We okay, so one of the things that I'm loving about this particular section, uh, I'm guessing that was Mix Williams. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mega Ran was the first one. Mix th this was Mix Williams here. Um, one of the things I'm loving about this is how... Like, obviously, Mix Williams called back a couple of the things that Mega Ran said. He's reinforcing what has already been said. But at the same time, he's bringing it into a new context. You know, he's making it a little bit more deliberate. I noticed that Mega Ran didn't directly, like, he did, but he didn't directly reference um, uh, Bray Wyatt at the beginning of his part. But towards the end, he was very pointed about talking about Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt's relationship. Um, Mix basically went all in. Like, uh, most of this was talking about the relationship between Bo and Bray. And, like, how it has affected how, uh, like, the world at large in terms of wrestling. And I, I really felt that uh, that was, like, you know... A wide point, like a, a wide topic moving into a solid point. And then when we get to Mix Williams, it was a solid point moving into a broader topic. Um, it was just, just, I don't know. To me, I feel like that was very creative in how they decided to do that. Um, and this is definitely bringing the creepy aura I was hoping it would. Uh, this, was, this was a very, very well thought out and very interestingly put together song um something that i was hoping for and i am not disappointed in the slightest yeah. also i'm really glad that it's ben that's singing 
Uh, no offense to, to Nimraps, but I feel like this is definitely a song that is, this is definitely a topic that suits Ben's more melodic singing voice uh, than Nimraps rapping. Uh, I just feel like this, this song feels more foreboding with Ben on this one. It's time to let him in. Do you see the it's time to let him in. Let me guide you. Let me get to show the whole world. Don't it's time to let him in. Time to let him in. We're born again. Don't know where to go. Now you get to let the whole world grow up. It's time to let him in. It's time to let him in. It's time to let him in. Now you get to show the whole world. It's time to let him in. I can't wait to see what WWE does with the Wyatt Six. Like, none of them have, have actually uh, wrestled yet. Not as part of the Wyatt Six. So we don't really know how it's going to affect them. We don't really know what exactly they're going to um, they're going to do. We don't know what, what uh, WWE is going to do with uh, Wyatt Six. But I'm hoping that... The thing that I'm hoping the most uh, that's coming out of the Wyatt Six is getting into uh, a creep factor that we haven't had in the WWE since, honestly, like the late 90s with The Undertaker, with the Ministry of Darkness. Like, I think Bray Wyatt's, uh, like, portrayal of, you know, The Fiend and whatnot. He did a really good job of, like, bringing in some dark and, and foreboding elements. But we haven't had a faction do that in a long time. Not in a way that, like, I felt actually um, made your skin crawl a little bit if you were invested in the story. And I get the feeling that Bo Dallas is going to do that. I get the feeling that Bray Wyatt would have done that if he had, you know, if he had managed to, to carry on, if he hadn't passed away. But I, I just have this feeling that that the Wyatt Six is going to bring something that I have felt was lacking in the supernatural department of wrestling. Some people don't like that part, and I fully respect that. But for me, wrestling is entertainment. Wrestling is a, 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 a play, an opera that's being played out in front of you. That the yes, the the re wrestling is scripted. It's heavily scripted. Uh, there are things that can go wrong, just like at a play or an opera. But for me, it's the entertainment factor of these sort of like creepy supernatural phenomena that make these characters very interesting. It's what made the the Undertaker and Kane interesting to watch. It's what made uh, Bray Wyatt as the Fiend uh, very interesting. It's what made Finn Balor as the Demon very interesting. Uh, and now we have the Wyatt Six. And I, I really want something really curious and, and bizarre to happen. You know, and even the Boogeyman, uh, to a certain extent, brought that sort of creep factor. Um, but unfortunately, he was never utilized properly. So I, I have hopes and I love this song because it really it really like embodied what my hopes are for this faction. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you for joining me. I am Mark Alpha 12 and I will see you in the next video.